the swamp cat pride. They roam a hundred square miles of this wetland. They're one of the few prides that have learned to survive the tough conditions of the swamp. 1,600 lions live in the Okavango region. Most of them live the life typical of savanna lions and avoid the flooded areas. This pride does things differently. At the head of the family are the grandmothers with years of swampland experience. With their older daughters, they form the nucleus of the swamp cat pride, a formidable sisterhood bound together by blood ties. The swamp pride is lorded over by a great Kalahari male and his two brothers. While savannah males spend a lot of time away on territorial patrol, these swamp males show unusually high devotion to the pride, spending much of their time with the females. In summer, availability of food drops by 80% as prey animals disperse. The pride survives this lean season by splintering into smaller groups. But now, as the flood arrives, they all begin to reunite. But they're still not up to full force. Fulani's mother and her new cubs are still in hiding, several miles away. Their sanctuary now surrounded by all manner of new life. Some antelope are in their element here. These are lechwe, aquatic grazers that have evolved to live in Africa's swamps. Surrounded by water and with hungry mouths to feed, Fulani's mother is forced into the shallows in search of a meal. Lechwe are perfectly at home in the swamp. They have oily, waterproof coats and elongated hooves for running over waterlogged ground. Confident that no predator can match their speed in the water, they spend their time in the shallows grazing new swamp grass. Fulani's mother knows that these lechwe are a tough choice for a meal though she also knows there are ways to increase her chances. Her best bet is to be bold and to run an inexperienced young lechway onto dry land. not going to be able to support her small family on such difficult prey. 